All right, I'm doing a continuation on the tomb port project. Let's walk back over here. And this is the point it's at now. So this has come a long way since the last video. Uh, tried to do some videos in between, but just got busy carrying on work. Wasn't anything uh, real technical involved. It's a lot of piddly work, a lot of all the, all the wiring, all the hookups that go there uh, with these big runners. So these are really, you know, tight to get down in there compared to your your stock stuff. Uh, the EGR here, which uh, in the other uh, earlier videos I showed you where it's blocked off and has a plate here. So it's just really dummied up and it keeps this sensor in place, which uh, does throw a code if it's not working, but uh, what else have we got done here? All the exhaust manifolds uh, hooked up, the air injection hooked up, uh, the compressor, the, the brackets, um, all of the different fuel stuff for this car, which is that FMU stuff. Uh, and so this is gonna look a little bit different than your, your normal tune for it, not just because of the runners, but for the supercharger bracket, which is the Paxton system that's been on this car since forever. And uh, so we're at a point now to where this engine is really pretty much ready to run. I don't have the, uh, the, the exhaust pipe on it. The, the off-road's got an off-road pipe. We had that powder coated on this car and uh, I'll put a video of underneath it, uh, but everything is done underneath. And there's quite a few things on these TPI cars that you have to do underneath too, uh, with all the uh, oil cooler, the KC4 stuff and things like that that go under there. Um, what else? Let's go back to the other side. Now, what I was gonna do here is, is just show you, I've already done it, but this is just a quick overview of how to do the timing on a tune port. And this applies for most General Motors throttle body cars and a lot of cars for that matter of fact. So uh, basically before I crank this motor up and I showed you how to set the distributor before in an earlier video, at least to get it to a close position. Uh, and so what I've done now is before I crank the motor up, I've got the fuel uh, pump relay unhooked. So that's it right there. It's unhooked. And then I have the uh, uh, EST wire, electronic uh, spark timing wire, which is in these cars, it's actually not part of that, but it's, it's stuck to it. It comes out of the, uh, right there where the fuel pump relay is, you can see that and then it plugs into here. And so those go together. And when you disconnect this, what they call the EST wire, uh, that disables any of the computer to control the timing. So basically it's now just at a base timing. So the timing won't move on this car if it started up. It's gonna stay at whatever the distributor is set to. Now, on a tune port motor, uh, the stock is six degrees that's six degrees base and so that's when you what you set it to and so i can take this car with with my helper have him crank it over use my timing light point it down at the uh, uh harmonic balancer in the timing mark there and set it to six degrees and that's what we've done and uh you can vary that timing depending on your motor configuration some people run them down a little bit. Uh, I probably may have to run this one down because it's got, you know, almost 11 to one compression in the blower, but it, it'll probably work okay with the gas we're gonna use. Or some people run them up as high as 10, I've seen on the base. Uh, now the computer's gonna do all sorts of stuff with it because if you, once you plug that wire into it and if you try and uh, check your timing, it, you may not even see the mark. It's gonna be way advanced at idle. So that's what they do. That's part of the system of any, any like a vacuum advanced type thing, but it's all computer controlled. So that's the basis of how to do that. And um, look down at here, you've got, that's our timing mark down there. I, these cars are so hard to see anything, but you, that's where you do it. And on a, on a stock TPI car, you can see it down there too. I did this before any of this was on here because I'm gonna do that in another video. It was really ready to put on uh, the Paxton system, uh, which, you know, the hard part's already there, but the blower's just out of the way for now. 
Uh, so basically, I've got this motor all all tied up with a, with a couple loose ends. One loose end is right there, staring at your face. Um, I need to get it. I've got ordered another bolt uh, for the valve cover because one of the Torx head was a little too worn, and I didn't want to put it back in there and get it stripped. So yeah, you have to watch out for those. And those are specific valve cover bolts, and you can find out you can find them on eBay. They uh, four of them are you know for used ones are about thirty forty bucks. And uh, I'm sure you can get the right measurements and hardware store them and everything, but I just get in the factory one for that. Um, so that's kind of your timing um, on this particular, I don't even have a battery in it. I run it off of this system here, which we build these for great dolly and a battery and a charger on a tractor battery. It'll start anything, including a tractor. And oh, back you know where you hook your timing li uh, light up is of course with your number one wire. Your wiring uh, harnesses or your plug wires may not be stock on your car. I don't know. You know everyone's going to have on a modified tune port, whatever they do. But this is factory. This is the way these are supposed to be. And that's the top one's your number one wire, which goes here. Of course, your number one cylinder is on your driver's side is one three five seven two four six eight on your passenger side most people know that um and your firing order is one eight four three six five seven two but you've already had that set from before you get to this point so that's kind of the tune port thing and and, and you can do this of course when the car is running this is just i do this on a, a initial engine install because i don't want that timing to be so far off that i have some sort of issue and let me get it close and, it, and i think it's going to be right on because just with the starter turning over, you can set it with the timing light. It will fire, and you will see it going. Just make sure you don't have any fuel going to it, because at that point, it will start. And uh, you may not be ready for that. Uh, I don't even have, this is a mass airflow car. It doesn't even have the mass airflow hooked up to it right now. So uh, it may start erratically, but if it had the, had the fuel pump hooked up, but I'm not going to take that chance. And of course, you can't unhook your distributor and check it because then you won't get any sparks so you, you kind of so you got to get the fuel shut off in order for it not to run and, and simulate the, the timing so that's an overview of tune port timing uh what else can we show you i mean yeah once you put these motors back together i mean this is all the way these factory looms go in in the factory manifold or the and then these big tube ones and you can see down in there how ooh, where's that light at put it somewhere how close we had to machine these up those injectors are to those sides of those runners in there which is just they're supposed to fit but you know they're aftermarket even though Edelbrock makes some really good quality stuff always a little bit of uh, modifications you have to do here and there so the next video that I'm gonna do will we'll have the, the blower on it and uh, It'll basically be at a point to start up a motor that was built from the crank up. So, uh, and it's never run yet. And we'll see what this thing, thing does. Thanks for watching.